Alright, good morning. Welcome to my channel, Fat to Keto. My friends call me Jelly of Less 185 plus pounds on a ketogenic journey. I still got a ways to go. Yesterday's video would not upload no matter what I did, so I kind of trashed it. I got really angry and decided to make a very short one combining yesterday and today. So I'm going to show you my readings and my weigh-in from yesterday. Um, then we will... Then I will show you today's as well. Um, I'm in the pool with the kids. And we will discuss it. Okay, my glucose is 89 this morning. Let's get this ketone strip in there. Waiting for the ketones. Two point two. Give me a second and I'll tell you the GKI. I literally woke up like ten minutes ago. I'm exhausted, but my GKI was two point two as well. I've never seen that made even before. So I'm still in great therapeutic ketosis. I'm about to make my first collagen coffee of the day. I woke up hours before I'm used to, and I had trouble sleeping last night once again. I'm headed to Walmart and the meat market. I got my cute little red, white, and blue one. Hopefully it'll go fine. I'm back here behind me with stands that I did really nicely, had decorated. And last night, after three years, I decided to turn this stand to its side and I'm about to be making a coffee bar instead of having all my stuff in multiple places I have a curry machine on one side of a window the coffee maker on another um, stuff in cabinets I have stuff spread everywhere instead it's gonna be in one location plus I'm gonna put the ninja um, bullet and stuff like that so my daughter could get to them easier instead of dragging them out of the cat and then use the cabinet every single time we want to use them. So we'll see how it turns out and I will show you. So I'm dead exhausted. I've been to two Walmarts plus I have to go back to a Walmart for a pickup order at 7. I've been to a meat market. I've been to a Christmas tree shop, five below. I'm gonna die. Like, I have been going for nine hours straight now, plus I'm redoing my whole kitchen. And it is 5.30, so I'm going to eat my pre-made um, chicken salad that I made the other night. And I ate one of those sticks earlier. I'm about to make my other half of my collagen coffee. I have not done anything fun in my kitchen, like I said, is tore apart. So I'm going to shut up right now. This video might be super, super short today. I don't know. Also, I'm wearing my cute little... 4th of July tap clothes today. My shirt is crazy big, but I don't care. I like it. Like I said, my kitchen tore completely apart. So yesterday's GKI was 2.2. My ketones were 2.2 and my glucose was 89, which is very unusual for me to have a matching um, number of ketones and ketosis but I'll take it. And you saw that new low, new low. I got a new low, so I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, so I also need to show you what I ate yesterday, and I will go ahead and tell you that what I did yesterday, I think I have a little clip that will tell you some of the stuff I did yesterday, and I'm gonna insert that in here now. I'm also going to show you today's numbers without a weigh-in, and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, and I'll tell you the GKI and re-repeat all those on um, the GKI for you. So give me one sec. Okay, my glucose number for people who can't see the screen is 79. Move on to ketones. Okay.
And ketones are 1.8. Now I'll do my GKI. Okay, so my GKI was 2.4. Um, which is perfectly fine. I also did not weigh in today because I woke up hours and hours and hours before when I normally wake up. Um, literally like six hours early and I didn't actually sleep last night and I overdid myself and I was exhausted. So I have no clue what those numbers were supposed to be. As soon as I woke up into the pool, I came with all this chaos. Plus, I've had to go shopping today. I drove quite a ways, went in the Target, picked up a car seat because they couldn't find one for this little one over here anymore. He had the baby one and he outgrew it, but in Delaware, they don't have any. So I actually found one for his size now. And he's very tiny, even though he's six and needs a car seat. So I went and picked that up. I ran into the Christmas tree shop and bought something for my porch real fast. Are we okay? Y'all are scaring me. Then, then I had to order something from Best Buy, so tomorrow I will be going to Raleigh, North Carolina, which is quite far from me. I guess not that far, over an hour. Stop it! Over an hour away, and I will be picking up something from Best Buy and running Hi, into Costco. how are you? And running into Costco again, um, to... They're crazy. I will be running in the Costco again because I want to get a few of the keto things I couldn't get last time. Um, let me show you what I've eaten today. Yes, I have actually eaten today. It was dirty keto on some of the things, like the little slices of pepperoni and salami I ate was dirty. Um, and so was the ranch seasoning that or dressing I made from the Ranch Hidden Valley season packs. Um, I'm going to show you, we're going to discuss it, and I do not feel guilty at all about eating it. It is a hot day. We have been outside since 10. These children are going to make me lose my mind. Don't do that, you're going to bust the sides of the pool. <laughs> this is my day, we will my day. It's 1.30. I have been up for hours, been in the pool for hours, and I am starving, and I'm at my mother's house. And it's 4th of July week with my family, so I'm gonna eat what they eat, but I'm doing it keto. So I'm not sure what'll happen with my weight because I don't usually eat sandwich meat or cheese like this. However, all my sandwich meat that I am eating is uncured, no nitrates. Um, no hormones, no preservatives, the whole nine yards. It's very, very, very clean. It literally is smoked ham and salt. The same way with the turkey. The cheese is not clean, but that's okay. And then we're going to give this a try. And yes, this is not clean. There is some maldextrin, but it's only two tablespoons. It is the ranch seasoning that everyone seems to use on keto, but I've been doing clean. So we'll see what this does to me. So I totally forgot to film what I'm eating for dinner and this is what it is. I've eaten twice a day which is really weird for me because we all know I only eat once a day. So yeah, I started eating as you can see and I forgot to uh, film because I'm being lazy today. Alright, so normally I don't eat the ranch stuff because it has maldextrin. But these people have had pizza, chicken nuggets, french fries, all kind of yummy goodies, cupcakes, everything around me. I've had to go pick them all up. I've had to serve them to everyone. So I, I take it as a huge win to uh, only have four tablespoons total today because I ate two with each of the meals. Um, total of the dip. Also, five baby carrots. And then I had some... <laughs> You saw everything else that I ate, and that was it. Okay, that was cheating because it is 100% keto, 100% not actually cheating, not going over my carbs at all, um, but it was dirty, and I haven't been doing dirty other than the tiny bit of mayonnaise a day. So, I'm trying to keep an eye on the kids too.
So I'm very, very, very proud of myself. I take it as a huge win. And I was absolutely starving this morning when we ate that first meal, I think it was around one. And I had been in the pool for hours already, did some walking. I forgot my all my Fit bracelets, you know, watches. So I have no clue how much activity I've gotten today. Um, But holy crap, people, I have been really excited how well I've done. And sure, I ate twice, however, it still weighs the same amount of cucumbers. It still weighs the same amount of lettuce. It's still the same amount of mayonnaise slash the sour cream dip. Um, it all equaled the same in fat and weight and everything as I normally do with the olive oil. Um, the sandwich meats came to about five ounces total. So that's less than I do in the chicken breast. And then I did less tomato than I do in my salad. I did do carrots, which I normally don't do. So that is the only place that I deviated from, and I did it in two meals instead of one, so I split it up into two. But I am very, very proud of myself for that one. You just don't even know, with all these sweets and all these Mountain Dew Zeros and Coke Zeros and all this stuff, and I stayed away from it. Um, I got my test results back. Here comes the kicker. It says I do not have any antibodies of the virus. And I don't have any signs in my blood that I ever had it in the first place. But because I had all the symptoms, this is what's listed. Due to the fact that I had all the symptoms and I still have not recovered my taste correctly, they believe I did have the virus. And just because everything says negative doesn't mean I actually didn't have it. So they are marking me as having it. I had no positive results, but you're going to mark me that I did have it because I had some of the symptoms and my taste never came back right. But I didn't test positive ever. So is this virus really that deadly in the U.S. or is it all inflated numbers and lies? It's the first time I've wondered. I've lost friends who's died from it and I had an uncle almost died from it and it took him over 100 days to recover. I do believe this virus is real, but how contagious and how deadly is it? Because you're going to say I have it and I didn't have it and now how many other people did you say had it and didn't have it? And they try to explain it to me that this is just how it goes. This is just how it goes because maybe now I won't have antibodies and I won't show that I had it or anything because it has been over a month. I, I fi they figured there should be some antibodies, a little, but there was nothing. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. It just sounds funny to me. Ooh, these are not supposed to be in the pool. They are so dirty. So, oh, I have no clue. I don't know. I just think it's weird. I think it's strange. Um, who knew? So I want to do some of my exercises, and I will as soon as I finish recording this, if I can get, sorry. <sighs> yeah, this is the only time I have to record this today, and I am praying this one goes through, because my other ones did not go through at all. I'm getting kind of tired of it. Like, it's uploading, and then it says, failed to process. Do it again. I do it again, and it uploads. Remember... A 20 minute video takes like uh, 8 to 10 hours for me. Then, failed to process. Do it again. And I, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, a little too much for me. A little too much. So I've had activity. I've eaten some dirty keto. I haven't really overeaten. But those carrots might hurt me just a little. We'll see in the morning. We'll see if I was kicked from the sandwich meat or from the carrots or even the maldiction that was in that sour cream. Um, but I'm not really worried. I'm not really upset. I also did have... <laughs> hi, little baby. I did also have one of those keto sticks. <laughs> so, this has been my day. So, you're probably going to be like, where's your live? I did not have a live tonight. This is why. This is why... <laughs> I'm going to be very busy this week. 
So I might make videos every two days and stick them together until after 4th of July. And one of them, I think is staying here for the summer too. So, oh my gosh. I'm being pouted with the balls. So I'm going to leave y'all with a little summer fun. And I'm gonna get back to some swimming and trying to work on my stomach because I get on, let me flip this around. So I get kind of like he is, but my hands are on both sides of there and I pull my legs up into my stomach and I pull it straight back normal. And this is how you jump in the water. This is James and my today. Are you okay, James? Oh, you're laughing. So this is, this is my summer, mm-hmm. But those are my weights floating over there. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to try my bet. They are when they're in the water, honey. They get the three pounds. I'm going to try my best. Haley, Haley. He's not, Mom. I'm gonna try, try my best to work out with all of this. That was my mom really concerned that James was falling water, but he's not, he's just laughing. And also, okay, so, um, but yeah, this is the children the having some summer fun, and this is why I will have short videos and only videos probably of my readings, my scale. Um, if I go up tomorrow, I might not weigh again until after Fourth of July, but I'm sticking with foods like I ate today. You want to get lunch? We will Just see. Close your eyes, okay? No, 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 no. no hi, Haley. Oh. Say hi to YouTube, Leon. Hey, Leanne, say hi. Oh, hi. I didn't realize that was on video. Uh, hi. hi. Crazy children. Uh, Don't let him get water uh, in his mouth or Nina will lose it. I'm dead. <laughs> You're not dead. Hi. Hola. So this is, yeah. I'm you trying I'm yeah. trying to talk the baby in the stand with me this summer, baby. but so far. Underneath the water, you silly goose. We're actually doubling its float. Okay, people, they get heavy under the water. It's resistance. They double it. They are making fun of me, saying that I'm not lifting weights when I use them. Or they launch his launching stuff mm. up from the oh! <laughs> Grenade! <laughs> James, don't you want to live with me this summer? We could do this every day. You can send mommy home and say bye, mommy. Bye, mom. Yeah. He'll be saying bye to me. Okay, I'm turning this off, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, so yeah, maybe I'll put an ending on it. Maybe this is my ending. Welcome to my summer of fun, of chaos and craziness, where I go from one kid to three. Why? Why?